we have some breaking news in the NFL. Ladies and gentlemen, it is being reported that the Carolina Panthers have hired Frank Reich as their next wow. head coach. Oh, my God. Frank Reich, formerly the head coach of the Indianapolis Colts, obviously was able to make it to the playoffs with Phillip Rivers. Then when Carson Wentz came into town, the things kind of unraveled at the end of the year. And then, obviously, what happened this past season where he went into New England and struggled and Jim pulled the plug early in the year. Mm -hmm. I do believe Frank Reich has the capability to be an incredibly successful head coach. Do they have all the pieces around him there to be able to succeed? They don't have a quarterback. They're going to have to be in the market for that whole thing. And and they have a nucleus, though. It seems like that played good football after Christian McCaffrey was traded, after Robbie Anderson was traded, after Matt Rule was fired. They still played some good football, so it seems like the culture's there. A lot of people thought Steve Wilkes was going to get that job because what he was able to do was seemingly a mail-it-in year with a lack of their best weapons, but other dogs stepped up. What are your thoughts on Frank Wright getting another gig this quick, and how do you think this is going to be received by everybody, A.J. Hawk? I mean, Frank must have been very impressive in the interview process, I would imagine. He, he, how long was he out of a job? Ten weeks or something? I don't know when he got fired. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It hasn't I, been that I long. He's, he's the guy now. And they, I would assume it has a lot to do with the offense and the, whoever they're going to come try to have the, be their next franchise quarterback. They think Frank could be a great guy for him. Chuck Pagano, why do you think Frank Wright got the job? What do you think he told uh, David Tepper, the second richest owner in the NFL? Obviously, they hire Matt Rule. Uh, to be the head coach out of Baylor. They give him like a $70 million yep. contract for mm -hmm. his first head coaching role in the NFL. Turned a lot of heads. Matt Rule is going to come in. He brings in Joe Brady from LSU. He's going to run the offense. I believe Teddy Bridgewater was the first quarterback that they signed off of the Saints. He was a free agent. And then just from that point, it was just turnover at quarterback, offense coordinator, everything. Boom, 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 boom. Cam Newton was back on an $11 million deal, I think, or $10 million deal yep. for like six weeks. Everything just went bad quarterbacks out coaches out Matt Rule fired now they feel that Frank Reich will be the guy that'll be able to turn around why do you think this was the case and what do you think Frank Reich was saying in that interview to get the gig there Chuck Pagano well obviously he went in and had a vision and a plan and he's got a winning record here yep and yep. he just didn't forget how to not coach football you know so when things start to go bad sometimes you're it just runs out you know there's a shelf life for all these jobs and I think the message and whatever just kind of went south here. So I'm happy for Frank. He gets another opportunity. Maybe Steve, uh, we're all pulling for Steve because he did a hell of a job, Coach yeah. Wilkes. <clears throat> did a hell of a job. Maybe he's part of the, the equation too. Maybe mm -hmm. he sticks around, mm -hmm. runs the defense. Who knows? So hope they've got some good coaches down there, but I'm, I'm happy for Frank. Jim's happy too. Yeah. Yeah, don't pay him. Yeah, he's got another yeah. job. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't feel have bad. To. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have to pay him, offsetting, obviously, the payment, and it's the second richest owner in sports in the NFL. Let's assume that that deal is going to be good. Darius, your thoughts on Frank yeah. Reich, the new head coach of the Carolina Panthers? I think AJ and Coach Chuck knocked out of the park. Like, he think he went in there, uh, did great in the interview process. Offensive guys out here came in there with a plan. Um, I don't know if we ever seen two. So, two coaches got fired during the season. Now, one goes to Carolina. That's um, – that's interesting, but pulling for Frank as well, man. It is. It is fascinating. Oh, yeah. And Carson Wentz. Hmm? Huh? Think Carolina. he tries to bring him? No way. Hell no. Thought they were boys. They, they, are they boys. were. They were. He they admitted to Ursa. I thought I could fix him. I couldn't. He Frank was on the Carolina Panthers, their first ever game. First ever quarterback, yeah. First ever yeah. quarterback for the Carolina Panthers, Frank Reich. From Buffalo, cool. obviously, Bill Polian, I think, was brought in to build that original Carolina Panther team as an expansion. Uh, Adam Schefter is reporting Frank Reich attended seminary in Charlotte after his playing career and still maintains an off-season home in the area. One of his daughters recently started working in the Panthers' marketing department. His brother just finished his 22nd season as head coach at Wingate University. Whoa, roots. Pretty wow. connected to the area. Pretty connected to the area. Maybe they trade for Matt Ryan. There we go. Yes, mm. he knows your system. Yep. He knows exactly what you need. Had a lot of success together. Who finished down there for him, Sam? Bradford? Yeah, Darnold. Darnold. Or Darnold, oh, excuse yeah. me. They, they almost stuck in the well, actually. Well, yeah. Sam Bradford could spin <laughs> Darnold played pretty well. Yeah, towards the end he played great, but now it's a whole new offensive so system. Maybe Is Frank calling the plays? Yeah. You think? Come on. Either him well, or Parker Washington. Jesus Christ is he calling the Frazier players. Frazier is but. not calling plays. <laughs> and that whole deal, Parks Frazier got no, no chance there. No. Guy's yeah. an assistant quarterback coach, 30 years old. And then, hey, congratulations. <laughs> You're calling plays now. <laughs> no offense to Parks, Parks Frazier. Like, right? So Frank didn't go in and say, hey, this is going to be my offense coordinator. With Parks? Yeah. No. Saturday, Mike. No. Okay, well, we all know that. But yeah, so you don't get the job. Dan Orlovsky is allegedly Saturday's offense coordinator because Dan Orlovsky told He's the good world. protection schemes. Mm -hmm. 
I'm, well, he doesn't seemingly understand all the protections, but that's what happens whenever an offensive lineman feels slighted. They're going to point out everything. <laughs> yes. He doesn't need to know him because Jeff does. Can I ask Jeff a question? Bingo. Marcus Tag Brady, go. Absolutely. Strausser, go. With Could, Frank? These he, are guys on the Colts staff. Yeah. He fired, didn't he fire Brady before? Yeah. He got, yeah. Probably not. Yeah, Chuck, you, just don't know, you just don't know where those directives come from. Correct. And how the messaging goes, like Mike so McCarthy. Find, so we'll find out if yeah. he does hire Marcus. Like you'll Mike, know. Mike McCarthy just had to fire sure. a bunch, bunch of the of coaches. Mm -hmm. And the way Joe the message, Philbin. the way the message was put together, which we love, everybody loves Joe Philbin. I think literally everybody Legends. that's ever met him, that seemingly came like as it read, it was like uh, Mike McCarthy was like, "Hey, we're, we got to re, we're not doing the same thing." Jerry Jones said, and coaches understand that. Is it just all in the delivery of the message? Is that what it is? No, we all know. Like Greg said, he knows what he signed up for when he went into the booth. I think all coaches, players know what you sign up for, and it's a possibility. Chuck, how do DCs, how do coaches feel feel like when McDaniel got hired by the Dolphins and they kept the entire defensive coaching staff? Say Frank gets hired by the Panthers, they keep the entire coach or defense or not the entire Steve, Wilkes. Say yeah, Wilkes yeah. stays on because that was a really good defense. How do like how does how would Wilkes feel about that after he just interviewed for the head coaching job there? And didn't you get still got to have a job. So if there's an <clears> opportunity <throat> for him somewhere else, then maybe he goes and looks at that opportunity. <laughs> Who knows if that's there? But if it's your only deal, you you got to sign up for it. You'll do it. You know. So yeah. All right. Well, congrats to Frank Reich on another gig. There you go, Frank. Wow. Congrats to Jim Mercer. I don't think I yeah. don't think anybody expected that. No. No. I guess it started to heat up though. They already yeah. put it together like mm -hmm. staffs, potential staffs, as of yesterday. He is now the Carolina Panthers. Might win a couple Super Bowls. Certainly no. possible. You have no idea. They won't. You have no idea. Yep, they won't. You don't think he learned from everything that had happened here in Indianapolis? He's a backup quarterback a long time. He's a learner. That's Def literally what he is. Definitely learn. I think the biggest takeaway from watching the playoffs now is with how young all these, you know, quarterbacks are at these teams. It's going to be really hard to win a Super Bowl with who's left right now. Oh, it's the NFL, baby. Let's get to a break. They, may, they may trade up, though, too, and, and get, like, the quarterback they want. Like, they, if they, he Will really Levis. likes Stroud or yeah. someone like that. Like if he they, loves Will Levis. If he loves Bill Levis, yeah. you know, maybe they go up and go get him. So how does the, the putting your staff together work? I remember you saying when you got the job, your first call was the BA, Bruce Arians. How does that work with coaches that are already on other staff? So he's already had a list, and mm -hmm. he's got a list of – three or four deep at every spot, offense coordinator, defense Does he coordinator. ask them before putting a list together? or that? No, you get on the phone, you talk to their agent, you talk to those coaches, hey, look, I'm in the running for this deal, would you like to come as this? So he's got a list, because you're not always going to get A, B, C, you may go down to D, depending on who's available. You get these jobs this late, and there's people you know that are uh, not available because they're under contract, so there's a lot of things that come into play, but they go in with that in mind knowing what that owner is going to want to hear. Yep. Hey, these are potential guys that I got coming with me. I just got lucky with B.A. Gotcha. Yeah, Tomlin and the Steelers had to move on and um, didn't have to, I guess. Could have stuck around, but they chose to. Directed from the owner, allegedly. Exactly, mm -hmm. which we were just talking about, how you let a guy go there. Um, going through potential staffs is probably a good part of the interview process. Yeah, who you're bringing with. So, yeah. yeah, that's, no, a, that's, that's a, a huge big, part. Yeah. Yeah. No, your vision. What you have, what you, how you, the vision for the program and how we're going to build one for sustained success and who's going to help me do that, it, that's huge. Are you calling the plays or if you're not, who's going to be calling them? 